When we last left off with my 1954 Northfield bandsaw, I had gotten it into the basement, but I had yet to get it under power. I ordered some replacement parts from Northfield, along with some OSHA bling, and aesthetically it was ready to go. The motor is a 5 horsepower 3 phase motor, which requires either a rotary phase converter or a VFD phase converter. I went with the latter and wired it up with some temporary control wiring, which still required interacting directly with the VFD unit. It worked, but I wanted something a bit more user friendly. With the sage advice of one of my heroes in mind, this is not going to be a how-to for wiring VFDs. I wired an on-off switch for the unit. You have two household current hot noodles coming in, some magic occurs, and three fire jets go out to the power of the three-phase motor. These low-voltage terminals can be used to control the VFD. Starting with a standard electrical enclosure, I designed a custom control box, including a start-stop switch and a speed control with the idea that I could possibly use the machine to cut metal. I took full advantage of the multi-material attachment for my Prusa 3D printer, which can automatically switch filament colors mid-print. There was one other important feature to test. I printed all the parts, which took several hours. I gathered everything together, which was a mix of custom designed and off the shelf parts. Though I designed mechanical connections between all the parts, I did use epoxy as well. The small keychain size maglock fit perfectly. I used some standard thermostat wire from the big box store. Temporarily connected the 4.7 kilo ohm potentiometer and wired the on off paddle switch. I then got to practice my exceedingly amateurish soldering skills. With the assembly complete, I finished up the wiring. I installed a quick tension relief. And attached the control box with a mag switch. With that done, it was time for the shakedown cruise. <laughs> <laughs> 